I was recently looking for a new flight case to help transport my 400mm f2.8 and other lenses safely to and from assignments. I was looking around and I finally settled on the Nanook 960 waterproof hard case with the foam insert. This case measures at 25.4 inches in length by 20 inches wide and 14.5 inches in height, which is approximately 64.5 centimeters by 50.8 centimeters by 36.8 centimeters and weighing in at a hefty 8.71 kilograms not something i would recommend as aircraft carry-on luggage as you can see it's extremely well built and provides enough room inside for the rf 400 f 2.8 and also three other fairly large lenses the ones I have here are the 28-70 f2, the RF 70-200 f2.8 and the RF 15-35 f2.8. These are generally my main lenses I use on a regular basis for paid work. The Nanook case comes with the cubed foam insert which can be modified to allow a customised fit for your equipment. What I did initially was to lay out the lenses to see how they could be placed safely and to avoid being too close to each other. I would recommend at least one to two inches of space between each item of equipment. I would probably try to visualize at least two to three configurations before settling on your kind of final option. I used a, a light colored marker pen to outline all the lenses. You could use chalk or maybe even a colored crayon. You'll need to make some kind of outline as a guide. start with the largest item, I used a pair of scissors to loosen up the foam. You could use a pen knife or a craft knife, but it doesn't really have to be that sharp. Then I started to pluck away at the foam to create space that would fit the lens. I did the first part and then stopped for a quick check to see how well the lens would fit. then continue to complete the full outline of the lens. Then another quick check to see if the whole of the lens would fit. Then I started work on the lower layer of the foam to allow the lens to fit kind of deeper into the case. I just closed the case up to make sure the lens was low enough to allow the hard case to close without damaging any equipment. Everything seems okay. Then I started work on the next lens, the 28-70, by following the guides created using the marker pen to pluck the foam out to create a suitable space. Did a quick check to see if it was okay and then moved on to the next lens 15 to 35 using the same approach and then finally the 70 to 200 millimeter I positioned this lens on its side to allow more padding between each item. Another check to see if the lid would close safely and securely seems okay. Everything is now safely secured and tightly packed without causing any damage. Then I used a damp piece of kind of kitchen towel to remove the rest of the marker pen. If it's really difficult to remove, then you can just flip the foam over like I did here. Then another quick check to see if the lid closes okay. The lenses could probably go slightly deeper into the case, so I'll possibly remove another few layers of foam at a later date. 
You may have noticed the camera bodies are missing. That's because I prefer to transport them separately to the lenses for several reasons. Firstly, to avoid any significant loss. The flight case could get damaged. I mean, it's pretty strong, it's pretty sturdy, but it could still get damaged or it could be stolen or vice versa, the, the camera bodies could be stolen. It's just basically to avoid loss. Secondly, it's just to reduce overall weight. The two bodies I have would actually add another 1.5 kilograms to the overall weight of the flight case. So it's just to um, reduce weight. Anyway, there would probably be enough space for at least two camera bodies within the flight case, along with these lenses. I usually use this small bag made by Lowepro to carry the cameras with lenses detached. I can fit two cameras securely with a dividing panel in between. That bag would then go into a larger camera bag with other items such as laptop, filters, cables and card reader and, and stuff like that. And that's basically it. My new way of transporting gear to and from assignments uh, and, and various uh, jobs and activities I do. I really hope that has helped to provide information. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.